Well, the solar eclipse is less than two weeks away from now and cities in the path of totality have already been getting ready for months. And if you're still skeptical about whether it's worth actually changing your schedule to see it, you're going to want to hear this. Jenny Bork is live from the U.S. Air Force Museum. She spoke to a former astronaut who's actually seen more than one. Jenny. Yeah, Elise, a solar eclipse will be seen by many only once in a lifetime, seeing it in or near the path of totality and in an area known for aerospace is even more special. I spoke with former NASA astronaut Terry Vertz, who has seen two, and he says that even if the weather is not ideal, it's still worth making a plan to see it. Even if it's cloudy, it's still going to go from day to night. It's still going to be an amazing experience. People travel all over the world to see natural phenomenons like the one coming to parts of Ohio on April 8th. Not many people can say they've seen a solar eclipse from space, but former NASA astronaut Terry Vertz can. He was on the space station in 2015 and says he didn't expect to see it. There was an eclipse over the North Atlantic, so a place where most people don't see it unless you're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. And uh, we weren't sure if we could see it. And as we passed by, we looked off in the distance and there was this giant dark spot. You know, you could see the moon shadow on Earth. It was really surreal. I had never seen anything like it. Vertz also saw an eclipse in 2017 that went through Oregon. I asked him which one was a better experience, seeing it from space or Earth. I mean, being in space was really unique to see the shadow on our planet. That was a once in a lifetime thing. But to see it from Earth was like a, it was almost a spiritual experience. You know, it, daytime turns into night, the animals got really quiet and the people started making noise and it was, it, it surprised me and shocked me more than I realized. Another reason to check it out, Vert says you'll be able to see even more than the moon moving in front of the sun, but you have to pay attention. When the eclipse happens, you'll be able to see Venus and Jupiter, which is amazing. You'll be able to see the planets in the middle of the day. Uh, there's a comet called 12P. Um, it'll be right next to Jupiter. You'll probably need um, binoculars to see that because it's a little bit dim. And the event might even make you think about life differently, even if you're not typically super interested in space. I call it a cosmic perspective. And when you see this happening, it takes you out of your daily mundane life and you realize that, you know, we're on this spaceship Earth as it's going around the galaxy and there's other planets and and uh, moons going around us in the solar system. But, you know, it's just a celestial event and it kind of gives us that cosmic perspective that um, there's a lot more happening in the universe than just our daily grind here on Earth. Some businesses like Dorothy Lane Market will be closed for a short amount of time so their employees can view the eclipse and many schools in the area will be closed as well. So we've compiled a list of closures and events in the area. You can find it under Eclipse 2024, that heading on our website, Dayton247now.com. Back to you in studio.